Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Royal Family. I just saw Bubbles like in the background, so you'll see him chewing on his toy in this episode, probably. But in the last episode, whew, guys, in the last episode, I summarized some things that happened. I've been having a lot of trouble with my recording software with OBS, and before that, I was filming this video, I had to like check and test the video recordings like four times like the first two kept freezing which worried me but I tried it two more times and they seemed to be fine actually I think I tried it three times I wanted to make sure that it would be consistent and that my recordings wouldn't freeze up on you so hopefully it's okay but in the last episode I did tell you guys that we had King Derek and Queen Elena of Willow Creek and Queen Alice of Windenburg all pass away. So we had Queen Alice's funeral in the last episode. We also had Princess Anna and her fiance, Sir Marshall, move into the Windenburg Palace just to be with the family as they're still trying to get back up on their feet and as they're still trying to get through this hard time. And then we also had Princess Lindsay and Prince Adrian become the King and Queen of Oasis Springs. We didn't have like a full out ceremony for them. I just changed their names and like kind of changed their outfits. Not really. Um, I might change their outfits in this episode, but that is who we're going to focus on in this episode is the Oasis Springs royal family because I did get some new custom content for this palace and it fits very well with the theme. And I had filmed that episode previously, but that was one of the ones that kept freezing up. So in this episode, hopefully it won't freeze and hopefully I will get to show this to you guys. So before we begin today's episode, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you you haven't already don't forget to turn on your notifications and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and let's go ahead and play the royal family i feel like i should name this series like the royal families now that we have so many that we play with but uh so yeah as i mentioned we are in the palace of oasis springs we have the kids i'm just trying to get them all to do their homework they're going to have to go to school soon too prince francis oh my gosh he was thinking about making a mess we do not want him to do that so princess naya is working on her project I I think uh, Queen Lindsay, she's about to go help her with her project. And then Prince Francis, we need him to start working carefully on his project. And I will have King Adrian start helping him with that as well. So I just kind of, I just want to make sure like all the kids do their homework are getting good grades. We gotta do that, cause they're like, I feel like the parents would be so strict about that too. So we need to make sure everyone is doing what they're supposed to in school. They all start school in an hour, so I don't even know if they're gonna be able to finish all of their projects. I think I might have Princess Naya leave the project for now and just start doing her homework first because I think that's probably the more important thing at the moment. So I'm gonna have Queen Lindsay help her with her homework. So, oh, great reputation. Queen Lindsay has a great reputation, so that's good. So I wanna show you guys, I've done a little bit of remodeling for this palace. I've added a lot of lights because there were like no lights in it before and it was so dark. So I added so much more lights. The pool, I put this little lantern archway, which I thought was kind of cool because I put like a ton of lights as you can see in the water. It still doesn't even light up the pool that much, but like just enough. And I added these two little lantern poles here. They're kind of get in the way, but like I couldn't find anything that would make it too, like that much brighter. So I still have a lot to do in this palace. So what I do want to show you guys, this is what I'm super excited about is this bedroom guys this is mostly custom content and i'm so excited about this if you want to see any custom content i put it on my pinterest board and i will put the link to my pinterest board in the description below i know there's a lot of pins and i will try to categorize it as much as possible but i have a whole custom content board which has like 300 pins in it but this should be one of the more recent ones so don't worry but i will try to in the future categorize them by like room or or like female hair or male hair or clothing or something like that so i'll do that in the future for sure but for now I have this lovely set, which I love. Like, guys, look at this bed. It's insane. It is so cool. I love the shape of it. The curtain that comes with it, that's like a separate thing that you have to put like separately, but I think it's so cool. The only thing is this pack like just pretty much comes in like orange and, and like yellow. And I'll show you guys all of that in a minute, but I wish there were different colors with this pack. And it's just, but it's so gorgeous though. I love it so much. So that, that one came with it. This curtain came with it too. So those were two separate curtains I had to put together. I need to put something like in the middle there. I think it could use like a window or something. I think that's like the edge of the castle. So I think I can put a window there. But yeah, I just was like, this wall is empty and it needs something. So I put that there. And then these couches came with it, guys. Like, 
look at the detail on these couches. All of those throw pillows, the detail on the, the design on it, and it's just like the style of it too. It's amazing. I am so in love with this. And then we also, I put another one over there. These little plush cushion things, they are not custom content, but I thought they went pretty well with it. This rug is custom content. It's actually an oriental rug. So it comes from like a different, like it's, it's supposed to be a different style and different culture, but I thought that it went really well with this too. Also like the Oasis Springs, I don't have like a very specific culture. Like Oasis Springs technically is supposed to be like Spanish themed, but like we've turned it into Middle Eastern Indian, just very like this ethnic theme that I love so much. And I don't want it to be specific. I do want to blend these cultures together because this family is so blended. Like, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but like our queen is blonde. Like <laughs> King Adrian, he definitely looks more like what the original descendants looked like, but, or not descendants, what their ancestors looked like. But yeah, no, he he married a very, very blonde girl. So half of our kids are blonde and half of them have brunette hair. So nice work, Princess Naya, completing school projects. Okay, all of our kids are off to school. Princess Megan is going to school too. She needs to go ahead and head there. I don't, I think this was in the episode that I didn't get to post, the one that kept freezing. But Princess Megan, her relationship with Prince Kellen is going really well. And I have like a few different marriage candidates for Prince Kellen. Princess Megan is one of them. And then we also have Lady Ava and Lady Corinne. And yeah, I don't think, no, were they, I think they were in our, in our uh, Winterfest episode. I could be forgetting. I think they were. Um, but yeah, so we have a few different candidates for him. But for now, I think Princess Megan is the one that's getting along with him the most. So, oh, I thought like I was like Princess or Prince Mike. God, I was very confused. It cuts off the L. That's interesting. But like Queen Lindsay's full name is there. Where Where's the L on Prince Michael's name? But like it's up here. That's so strange. That is so weird. Okay. So this, yeah, so this is basically all there is to the pack. It didn't come with too much stuff. The only other thing, so I put, I didn't put the custom content in all of the rooms of the household, but I did also put some in the living room. So it came with this really awesome fireplace, guys. Like, isn't this so cool? I, and like, you can interact with it like a normal fireplace. You can burn money because rich people can burn money, apparently. King Jared, what's up, Queen Lindsay? One of my friends heard about how great you are and has been asking to meet you. Can I give them your number? Uh is that like a romantic thing? I don't think it's a romantic thing because like I'm like Queen Lindsay's married to his brother So it shouldn't be one of my friends. I think it's a friendly thing We'll see I guess if someone contacts us, we'll see um, But I feel like this wall could use a little bit more decoration So I'll probably try to add a little bit more but these couches in here are also custom content These are actually like a very Fancy that I think they were supposed to be more Victorian or English themed. It's kind of interesting though Because there's no backrest to this chair like the pillows are the backrest But the pillows aren't leaning towards anything so that means these pillows are like built into the chair Like I find that very strange or maybe these are just like supposed to be against a wall I think that's what it's meant to be But I liked it as couches and I didn't want to reuse the same couches that we already have in the bedroom So I thought it was kind of cool. Who's calling King Adrian a teacher? caught Prince Francis looking at another student's test during the class and sent him to the office. Uh-oh. Let him retake the test. Principal's visit. Today, the principal is visiting Prince Francis's class. Everyone is on their best behavior and not to interrupt the lesson. Unfortunately, the kid sitting behind him has decided to pelt him with something. Should he ignore him? Yeah, he should ignore him. Okay. So, Prince Francis keeps his eyes trained dutifully on the board and he doesn't get in trouble. That's good. Okay, so yeah, we don't want our kids to get in trouble. So, this is pretty much all the custom content I think that I put in here. I need to definitely, so like with this palace, I would definitely want to put the bedrooms upstairs because it's a huge thing in like royal or, or rich families. Um, no, we don't want to go to Geek Con. Um, but it's a huge thing for like, the families need to sleep upstairs like the i read this book is i read the crazy rich Asians book and she made a point like no the servants sleep downstairs like i'm not going to sleep downstairs so i think that i'm going to move the bedrooms upstairs and then also like i can move the sauna and the gym i can move all of that downstairs i don't want to bore you guys with that in this episode so i'm not going to do that but like the kids don't all have their own room. Like I haven't assigned these rooms to anybody. It's kind of cool though. They are all different. Like I might make these like Princess Naya, Princess Megan's room. This room's a little bit small, so I don't know. I might turn this into like the kids nursery because we had their nursery down here 
but like like as i said we would move that all upstairs but then again like it, it might be nice to have a nursery and playroom downstairs but i don't think we need like the beds to be here or anything but like it's just it there's a lot that we need to do with this house i i it's it's also missing like a dining room like that's a pretty important thing we can't have dinner parties or anything um okay marquis aiden is saying sorry to bother you but i've just heard how great of a person you are would you be interested in making a generous donation to the charity is that the person that king jared gave our number to they just wanted a donation we'll donate that's fine we're we're the king and queen we have plenty of money we're okay i also moved up their careers to king and queen it says though that this is female nine like it's saying this is this is the ninth like there should be ten. Oh, unless there's only nine uh promotions nine levels of, of the career because most of the other careers have 10 10 levels so i guess this might only have nine because this is the maximum it can go is the king and the queen so yeah we'll just have to see so i think i don't think we need like this project in the middle of the floor right here i'm probably gonna pick that up but i think that's everything i wanted to show you guys with this palace it does like i said need some work i will add more stuff when i have more time i don't want to bore that bore you guys with that now but i do want to also focus because in the episode that i didn't get to post i got to increase the relationship with some of the kids like for future romantic relationships so princess naya she is kind of like very close to let's see who i need to go to like her friends um she is very close to earl philip which is i think a great marriage candidate for her um also did i think this happened too in the last episode yeah you guys didn't get to see this so i had uh sir or earl philip his mother which i might be able to get a picture of her i think oh no oh shoot i don't have a picture of her um yes invite over princess may that's fine okay so uh earl philip's mother is lady lady pearl mcwilliams and she broke up with her boyfriend she was dating sir Derek and they just like she her most important thing right now is her son and when she dated sir derek she'd have to move in with sir derek if they got married so i think she realized like that wasn't going to work so she ended up breaking up with him so yeah that was another thing i totally forgot because i was so like just like all that was on my mind was like the deaths that happened so that was another thing that happened that i didn't get to show you guys but we'll probably find maybe someone for her soon right now i think all she cares about is her son so that might be another thing another time um i also wanted to like we had a, one of our viewers make a bunch of townies for us so I can show you guys because I, I haven't added them to the game yet and I keep meaning to. So if we go to the gallery and we have, I, I have a hashtag that my viewers made for me. You guys are awesome. So Mira Ray townie. So this, if you guys want to add anything to our game, it, I, if I'm able to, I will definitely add these. So this was the family that they made. So this was basically a family that, that the viewer because I, I kept mentioning like there's so many male sims that are single but there's like no female sims because they're all teenagers so i was kind of waiting until they aged up from being teenagers so they could marry each other but then our viewer made the hammonds so it says tatiana can't stand having her husband's sister still living with them never mind that they've only just aged up get rid of them marry them off there's so many young men that are willing to take a lower rich standing wife so it says basically these girls are the single are for the single men who need wives in the royals world so that's good to have like actual possible man marriage candidates for us i'm debating where i want them to live i'm not a managed world so i can't move them in now but let me actually do that for you guys so I'll go to Manage World, save, and go to Manage World. Hopefully, I keep, like, because it's such a habit for me to save all the time. And I, like, that's what ha- Oh my gosh, Bubbles. No, 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 don't play right now. Okay, I just threw Bubbles toys, like, 20 times. So I think he'll stop right now. He's- He's, he's hidden somewhere, so I think he's fine. So, I completely forgot what I was going to do. Oh, right, I'm going to go to, uh, I need to manage worlds because I want to add these sims to our game. So, I need to download them. I, they look, the way they're dressed, I think they would move into the Oasis Springs world. I need to find a house that's, like, big enough for them. There's, like, one, we're gonna need one, we're gonna need four-bedroom house. Uh-oh, I don't have a four-bedroom house. Um... Let's try, that one has four bedrooms. Can I evict these guys? I kind of want to do that. Um, yeah, let's evict those people. Oh shoot, it's unfurnished. Uh oh, well shoot. Uh oh, okay. 
I think I think I'm gonna just I'm gonna have to add a house for them. That's four bedrooms. Okay, so I have moved them in. So the Hammonds are, this is actually a really nice house and like probably a lot nice, like the nicest house in this neighborhood for sure. It's not really keeping in the same style. It's more of this style. I should probably also change these styles to match this style. Cause really these are completely different. Like this is Spanish and this is not. So uh, well, well, yeah, we'll just have to see. Also, if you guys know how to mark households as, unplay as unplayed, because I thought I just did like I, I was going through and I, I noticed I hit the maximum sim count. So like, I know if you can go here and, oh, no, I know you can go here, click on the household and then like go to edit and then click this so you can mark them as unplayed. But you can still see that these are a little bit green and these are gray because these are the unplayed, like the really unplayed households. Because when I went into game options, I had my max sim count as 80 before and it looks like I've hit it. You control too many sims. Move households from my households, oh, to other households until the sim count is below the maximum skim, sim count. Oh, well, okay, let me see if this works then. Uh, yes, I would like to commit to these changes. I wanna keep it at 80 because I don't wanna like slow down my game or anything. So I need to go to here and then how do you move them? If you click X, will that move them into them played? It won't delete them, I don't think. Okay, well, let's just see. Are you sure you want to delete the Hammonds? No, I don't want to delete them. I want to move them. But how do you move them to other... Oh, by doing that. Oh. Also, this is who I was talking about. This is Lady Pearl McWilliams. So I just wanted to... That's who I was talking about earlier who broke up with Sir Derek. So I just wanted to let you guys know that. I'm just... Yeah, I'm going to do this. I want to keep our sim count at 80. Also, this is... This is Sir Marshall... Princess Anna's fiance sir marshall this is his family this is his sister and his mother so i just want to like like give you guys a little refresher about who is who also some kids some people had kids that i like was totally unaware of so there's like new kids around that i i did not realize also some kids have grown up like oh i saw also where is she oh my gosh i need to change his pants oh my god okay we need to do that too so lady Ava, where is her family here? I don't, I think, yeah, this is it. So this is Lady Ava. She grew up into a teenager. So she's way older than Prince Kellen is, which I did not realize at all. So maybe she's not a possible candidate for, for Prince Kellen. But this was the other candidate. This is Lady Corinne. So she's Prince Kellen's age for sure. So I think that she might be a possible marriage candidate for him. But yeah, I think Lady Ava is kind of like out of the picture at this point. So I'm gonna just, yeah, get get rid of, of the, the, get rid of marking them as played, if that makes sense. Um, so now we have the Hammonds here. So I kind of just like the rest of this episode, I can give you guys a little update on who's who. Maybe we can like play around with some of their outfits as well. But so this, oh my gosh, is she, she's, whoa, she's new. She's not even na named, lady also doesn't she have a brother i thought she did but i'm going to like just so you guys can just like get to know some of the households a little bit well, let's go and like hang out with them also these children are beautiful they all have like the the toddlers there's a few of them they all have like the dark hair they're gorgeous i have to show you another one who i just think is the most gorgeous baby in the entire world so lady i guess her name is natalie that's fine with me um but i have not we haven't like played around with the little toddler looks in a while guys i'm actually really excited to do this oh she's so cute lady natalie she's adorable i like her a lot so i'll just go with some of the styled looks because i don't want to like spend too much time on this so i already like love her hair she has custom content hair already so i think we're just going to keep that like that. isn't that adorable did any of our toddlers have that before i don't think so i think this is the first that might be the first time you guys are seeing her hair um maybe i will pick out a little a little dress for her here oh my gosh you guys this little kid is so cute I, I actually really like we don't spend enough time with the nobles you guys we definitely need to do that this little swim outfit is adorable we also i'm gonna pick a styled look for the hot weather outfit this is i feel like that's fine 
And then for cold weather, this one is okay. So yeah, so then, and then I think you guys have met Lady Jill before. She's got some custom content hair and like outfits and everything. I love her a lot, guys. I like her a lot. So there's Lady Jill. She's still, yeah, she's a teenager. But yeah, I swear she has a brother. I, I, I'm gonna have to do that like outside of the game, just track him down because I don't want to spend time doing that with you guys because I think that would just be like a lot. I'm pretty sure, I, I thought she has a brother. Maybe I'm imagining things, I don't know. Um, but let's also, oh, this is the most beautiful baby, you guys. Lady Arya. Okay, also, I love her name. Like, I'm kind of obsessed with Lady Arya. If she, if she grows up in time, like, she might be too young. For, maybe I'll, maybe I'll just age her up because I'm kind of obsessed with her. I want you guys to see her. Um, but she is beautiful. I want you guys to just get, like, a good look at her. If we age her up. Maybe she could be a possible candidate for some of the kids, but like, isn't she beautiful? Her facial structure is like amazing. Like, I don't know what, it's very unique, but but she's beautiful. I can't get over it. Also like her little haircut with it too. She, I had already like picked out this custom content, like these custom content outfits for her, but I'm kind of obsessed with her. I don't know how you guys feel. If you guys think I should age her up to like catch up with the other kids, let me know. Cause I definitely want her to be a possible marriage candidate. So this actually is Lady Tierra. So this was Queen Alice's sister, half sister and King Edmund's sister. So this was King Derek's daughter. He had an affair with their mother. So that's that's someone interesting. Just so, just so you guys know, is she an adult? <gasps> She's an adult. Oh my gosh, you guys, maybe she can marry one of our adults already. Oh, you guys, that's kind of cool. Okay, so, oh, also these kids, who are they? Lady Katrina and Lady Helena. Oh, I need to change the outfits too. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to go through all of this and like change some of these kids' outfits because these are like new kids that I have not really played with at all. So Lady Tierra, she could marry, maybe she's a candidate for Sir Derek. Oh my gosh. Okay, I think we're gonna do this, you guys. I think I'm gonna, cause like Sir Derek, I think he's the first one that needs to find someone soon. Cause like, I think his mother just died too. Like, I don't know when that happened, but apparently, apparently that did happen. He's about to take over this title. I think he does need to find a marriage candidate pretty soon. So, cause I, I'm pretty sure he, yeah, him and, and Lady Pearl broke up. Him and Princess Anna still have a little bit of a romantic relationship. Oh gosh, celebrity level loss. I did not freeze their celebrity levels. So I think we're definitely just going to like end this episode pretty soon. But I want to at least have, because there, there should be, they should be at least the proper, or maybe B-lister. Wait, right? What are, is he the, uh, the Earl? Yeah, he would be a, a B-lister for sure. So I'm going to freeze their fame and then sir derek would also i feel like be a b-lister he's he's pretty like well known so especially since he was close to dating princess anna so let's go ahead and make him a b-lister i'm gonna freeze his fame and i'm gonna have him travel and meet lady tiara for the first time and we'll see if they get along i'm hoping they do him and lady pearl got along so well you guys i mean like that was the easiest romantic relationship I've ever had to put together. They were, they got along so well and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so meant to be, but it didn't work out, you guys, it didn't. So we're, we're gonna have to for sure find, uh, hopefully we'll be able to. And then of course we do want to meet like the Hammonds household, the girls there, but like I do, I do want to keep it as like nobles marrying each other as much as possible because that's just like what's expected of their society. But I mean, I don't know. It might, it might change too. Um, of course, we know that King Jared and Queen Nina, Queen Nina didn't come from any noble family at all. She came from a very poor family actually. So I mean, it's possible. We know that. So I'm gonna have him meet Lady Tierra for the first time. So friendly introduction. Is Lady Tierra, does she have any celebrity level at all? She doesn't. Oh, oh, okay. We need to change that. Public image, increase celebrity level. Yeah, that, that needs to happen because she for sure would at least, at least be a, a rising star, a B-list, maybe not a B-list. Well, she is the daughter of the king. I think she would be a B-lister for sure. Because if, and I think, I think people do know 
that she is King Derek's daughter. I think that was a huge scandal. I know we we kind of like made it happen. And I know we never like came back to that, so I apologize for that. But I I think that oh my gosh, guys, this is amazing. Do you see this painting right here? It's worth seven thousand dollars. That's insane. Oh my god, who painted that? That's crazy. Okay, so I'm gonna see if he gets oh excuse me i've just burped um i'm gonna see if he gets along with her we're gonna have them discuss interests i all the adults like one of the slice of life mod things is that they get acne but like i don't see acne on any of them but it says like one of their interactions is complain about acne but like there's no there's no acne on him at all so i don't know why they do that. Even like adult adults, they, it has complained about acne. I think anyway, maybe it's just young adults, which makes sense. But yeah, I don't know. I, I don't see any acne actually on them. So, I mean, they're definitely getting some friendly interactions going. Maybe we should like go outside and, and look at the sky, like cloud gaze or something. I also need to have Sir Derek join the career uh let's see i guess like all the ladies and sirs i might not even keep the monarchy career i might have them change to the just like being self self uh self-employed and register with the ministry of jobs so i think we might end up doing that but for now i'll just have like the ladies and sirs who aren't actually like a duke or earl or anything yet maybe i'll just have them be like courtiers and then anyone else that i see who are in the monarchy career that are not supposed to be. I'm just gonna be like, now you guys can't be. I think you can force force someone's career. So I think we should we can change that probably. So let's have him start trying. I don't think they actually ended up going outside to cloud gaze. So maybe you guys should go ahead and do that. Cause Sir Derek is like, he's like almost, he's like halfway to an adult. And I think Lady Tierra, like she must've just turned into a young adult. She was a teenager last time I saw her. So they do have a, not a big age gap, but like if she, like when she has, when she's pregnant, there will be a bigger age gap because that like delays the aging of, of them. But I think you can change that in the MCCC. So maybe I should look that up. Um, but let's go ahead and try some romantic interactions. They are, whoa guys, oh my God, their friendship went up so fast. I didn't, I did not even see that. They are like, oh my gosh, they're like such good friends right now. That's so weird. I did not even see that happen. That. Maybe they, maybe they're meant to be too. Maybe Sir Derek just gets along really well, or maybe he's just like super flirty and gets along really well with women. But now they're both. Well, he's very flirty. Let's exchange numbers and then see if Lady Tira becomes flirty too. She's kind of still in like a very teenagerish outfit, so I'll probably change her outfit soon. Maybe I'll wait until if they get married. Um, let's whisper sweet nothings there. Yeah, guys, they're, I think they're good. I think they're meant to be. I'm debating having them just elope right now because I, they're not really part of our storyline very much. So I'll probably like with, with the other relationships, if they are dating, like, like the ones that we play, I usually like have them date for a while. And then like, if they're engaged, I like usually let it last at least a few days. So, but like with the other ones, there's really no point in waiting. Like Sir Derek needs to get married pretty soon. So maybe I'll just have them elope and get married. I don't know. I do need to end this episode pretty soon though, but I think we have time to do this at least. So he's fr flirtatiously look deeply into eyes. Guys, this is going to be like the fastest relationship, fastest marriage ever. He's like just met her. <laughs> But I, I think like, you know what? I feel like his his dad and her brother, because her parents aren't alive anymore. Um, so I feel like they were probably going to set this marriage up. I have some like still very old fashioned traditional ways, like of course the arranged marriages and stuff. But I think even now, like royal families, I think they like, they're kind of arranged. Like I know Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's was not arranged at all, but like, I wonder if Kate Middleton's was arranged. I have to look into that a little bit more. Um, so let's ask her to be our girlfriend. And then as soon as possible, we're going to propose. I thought I already did a first kiss, but I guess we did not. So let's do that. All right, first kiss is done. 
profess undying love, <laughs> even though you guys just met. But you know what? Maybe it was love at first sight, even though it was also pretty much love at first sight with Lady Pearl McWilliams. So we'll just have to see. Honestly, though, her social standing is much higher than Lady Pearl McWilliams is because Lady Pearl McWilliams isn't actually noble. She didn't even like she only gets her title out of respect because her son's an earl because he got that title from her being friends with Queen Nina. So it's a little confusing, and I know you guys probably have, like, some people probably have no idea what I'm talking about, but that that is what happened. If you guys want to figure out what happened, you can watch some of the previous episodes. So let's go ahead, and we're doing a passionate kiss. I think he can, like, okay, she's feeling ambitious, though. She's not feeling, like, very flirty. Sorry, I'm, like, fast-forwarding through this, too. I just, like, I'm trying to do this before this episode gets too long. So I thought we already asked her to be our girlfriend. I guess not. She, she does look like a teenager for sure, though. Like, I need to... I feel like the hairstyle is very teenagerish. Like, I'm not a teenager, but I'm also wearing the headband, so maybe I can't say anything. Actually, the show that I'm in, I play a high school girl, like a senior in high school, so... I'm actually 23, so I don't know. I guess I could pass for high school. But I was thinking of, like, wearing a headband for her, because I thought that was a much younger thing. But, um, okay, we also need a pair... Ooh, they need to pay their bills. <gasps> $31,000! They only have like 38000 Oh my gosh, they need to make more money. Ooh, okay. Propose. I need to have Earl Keith. He should probably like actually become an Earl. Wait, you're just a mailroom technician? Oh my gosh, he needs to get promoted and fast too. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. Okay, so we are proposing. I'm missing this. I'm missing this so much. This is like a very awkward space for them to be in. What the heck? Can I? Okay, there we go. Now you guys can actually see. So she said yes, so I guess we can just go ahead and elope and then move in and then try for a baby. So why don't we go ahead and do that? Why don't we try for a baby? Well, no, yeah, let's just elope, okay. Oh, she actually needs to use the restroom. So kiss cheek and then while you're doing that, I will fulfill your needs, do not worry. And then, okay, so they, he just needs to elope. Elope immediately with Lady Tierra. So guys, this is their wedding. <laughs> I know that happened so fast and I was not like even expecting to do this at all But I just saw that she was a young adult and I was like, I'm going to take advantage of this So they are getting married. I'm gonna have them try for a kid too before they move in together Or maybe they're gonna ask us to move in together like as soon as they're done getting married Um, yes, they are exchanging their vows. Wait, is she still tired? I thought I just fulfilled your needs. What is happening? Fulfill needs for the world She should be okay now you can see that, like, lovely ring sparkle. Oh, guys, they're really cute. I think they actually make a really great couple. I like Lady Tara a lot. You can see in her face, in her face, she does look like Queen Alice, which is making me really, really sad, you guys. Um, but yeah, in her face, she does look like a Queen Alice for sure. It's just the blonde hair because she's blonde and obviously Queen Alice is not. So, okay, so let's have, we're gonna have Lady Tara move in with us. Oh no, Duke Addy, he is so lonely, you guys. He, we need to find someone for him too. I'll probably do that maybe outside of recording and then show, just show you guys in another video. Um, I am gonna end this episode very soon. I just wanted to have them try for a baby really quickly. But in the next episode, I'm going to have Princess Anna get married to Sir Marshall. So, oh, celebrity level lost. Wait, what? Why? You just got married to the Earl, though. You should, you should, I thought I freezed your fame. What is happening? Okay, public image, freeze fame. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to have them try for a baby. I actually really love this house. It's, it's supposed to be kind of like, wait, why can't I try for, oh, because he's not here. Okay, bring Sir Derek here. Um, I actually really love that this is like the, the shot, the Chalet Gardens or the Chateau Gardens, I forgot what it's called, but the one that comes with the Windenburg world that is like the, the haunted house sort of thing, um, that's like kind of like a museum. So that, the someone, I got this from the gallery, someone basically just remade that house and, and put furniture and like actual living stuff in it. So I thought that was kind of cool. So I especially love like this, like I kind of want this for our palace in Windenburg. I want to be set up with like the fountains here. I might actually steal this idea. I love that a lot. So yeah, I think we'll have to see. They still have their Christmas lights up too. So I need to take that down definitely. Um, okay, so they're going to try for a baby. Um, and yeah, as I was saying in the next episode, we're going to have Princess Anna have her wedding and get married to Sir Marshall because I was thinking of like, they probably wouldn't want to rush it because like her brother her sister-in-law just died queen alice so she probably wouldn't want to rush it but i feel like they've waited for so long i feel like king henry would be like no you guys should get married don't even worry about it like so i think they they're still going to get married um 
So, they're trying for a baby right now. I really love these curtains in this room. I feel like that's really cute. Who is here? Countess Myra Windenberg. I guess, like, oh, I forgot. This is the house with, like, all the urns here. These are, like, the first Sims that I ever played with, guys. I thought that's, like, super cool. Like, you get, I've, like, been obsessed with the name Mira Jane, which is, like, I ended up changing my, my channel to Mira Ray. So, I, like, that, that was, like, some of the first Sims that I had was named Mira Jane. So, I thought that was kind of cool. And a lady team is pregnant. So, yay! So, that's awesome. Okay. So, I'm actually going to end this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I need to like check the recording to make sure hopefully this recording went okay I swear if it didn't oh gosh if, if OBS keeps doing this to me It's gonna take me so much longer to post videos But I did put my schedule on my Twitter account. I posted it to Twitter So if you guys want to check out the channel for this week, you can go ahead and look at that But I hope you guys enjoyed this don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you did Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and to turn on your notifications and I will see you guys in the next episode